Hello everybody and welcome back to another one of those quick Dwarf Fortress tutorials. In this video we're going to be talking about pump stacks and water wheels. So it's going to be a lot of information. So if there's a lot of stuff in this video and it's hard to follow, I'm sorry in advance. First thing that we're going to be making is we're going to be making some mechanisms. We're going to need a handful of those in order to complete this. We're going to need to make uh, gear connections and we're also going to need to make a lever in order for this to work. So what we're going to start doing immediately is we're going to start digging. And we're going to make a 4 by 2 uh, kind of stack of digging area all the way up. Something else that I already have constructed in this video, but you're going to need to have in order to make this work as well, is a good supply of blocks, and you're also going to need to use wood or metal or glass to make pipe sections and corkscrews. Okay, so pipe sections and corkscrews. On the edge of this little construction here, we're going to dig stairways just so that we have access. You want these to be at least one tile away from the square so that you have one space of walking space between where the pumps are going to go and the access stairway because you want to be able to fill that in with a wall at the end so that you don't have any water leaking out the sides. Because there's going to be a lot of water moving through this really quickly and there's going to be some crazy pressure behind this once it's all done, if you do have water leaking out, it's going to fill up your fortress pretty quickly even if it's in small amounts. So just kind of be wary of that. You're going to want to make sure everything is filled back up when it's done. So we're going to be using water from this little creek here that I dug myself. But in order for this to work, you're going to have to either use a river or a stream. A brook won't work. If a dwarf can walk across it, it's too shallow. So we've begun digging out the area that we're going to need. And what we're going to start doing is we're going to do a alternating pattern of channels. So we're going to dig down in an alternating pattern. So we're going to start and... The first pump down at the bottom, as you can see here, is going to be digging from that, or is going to be pumping from that little uh, break in the in the river that we've dug, and it's going to pump north, and then we're going to alternate the uh, the spots that we're digging north and south. As you can see, as with this visual aid, it pumps from the left over to the right, and then lifts up, and then pumps over to the far side, and the one below powers the one above from the rear. It's kind of a lot. But hopefully the visual aid on screen alongside of the footage in the background will give you an idea of the pattern that you need to build. Once we're constructing the pumps themselves, this should make a little bit more sense. This is probably the most advanced video I've done in this series so far. So if this is a lot and I do a poor job of this, please let me know, know down in the comments section and I will do my best to improve on another one of this similar complexity level. So, as we uh, dig this out, we're going to let the dwarves begin, begin channeling and removing these layers in an alternating pattern of 2 by 2s and then we're going to begin working on power. We're going, like I said, we're going to be using water wheels for this, but we're gonna to need to carve out a little bit more space just so that we have space to work here. Now, as you can see, I've grabbed mechanisms from the liquid and mechanics section of the build screen, and we're gonna place three of these gear mechs two spaces apart. Then we're gonna go back into the liquid, into the fluids and mechanisms, and we are going to grab water wheels. These are constructed out of wood. It's the only material they're made out of. And then we're going to place them on the mechanisms. Now, don't worry, you can't fuck this up because it's impossible to place them without the mechanisms there. And um, so you, it's kind of a foolproof setup here. And if they start spinning, they will be visibly spinning. You know that they're working. If you select them, you'll also see that they make 100 power per wheel, which is a lot of power. And this is a super duper overkill setup. On the other side, we're also digging out a little bit of space, and the reason for that is we're going to double up the wheels, just because I want to show you that you can do that. Now we're going to place our last mechanism, and in between we're going to connect them all with axles. These are very simple. Uh, just select the uh, flat axle, not the vertical axle, and just connect the mechanisms together, and then they will spin. That's all that there is to it. So mechanism, axle, mechanism, axle, with water wheels on the outside. We also just built a lever really quickly right there, as you can see. And the reason for that lever is we are going to connect it to the last gear point that we just placed, because that is going to act as an on-off switch. You can connect levers to these gear mechs, which can be disabled, acting as an on-off switch for the whole thing, because once it's running, we're going to want to be able to turn it off uh, when it's done. So we're now going to start placing our pumps because all of the pieces are finished. We're going to click on the arrow and tell it to pump from the south and push the water up north. Remember that visual aid? That's what we're doing now. So the water is going to go from that little pocket right there in the south and it's going to go north. And then what we're going to do on the layer above after we've selected all of the pieces is we are going to pump in the opposite direction. So from the north to the south. The little gear on the back of the pump is what we want to be facing the water. 
and it's going to be outputting out of the little spout on the end. We're just gonna alternate all the way up. So it's gonna have little gear next to the open space on the bottom, pushing out to the uh, closed space on the top. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna pull the water out from the layer below, push it out onto the layer above, and then immediately it's gonna be pulled out of the of from the layer below on the layer one above, and just rinse and repeat all the way up to the top. This might be a lot of information, but with a little bit of fiddling, it's it's actually quite straightforward, I think. Now we're going to speed this up and let our dwarves kind of finish putting everything together. And then we're going to do the second side, because we're going to be doubling this up. Now you're going to see me doing some digging here, and that's because I need to dig an extra access channel, because apparently you can't dig these side by, you can't build these side by side. So we're going to need to have stairways on both sides for the top side. Now, uh, once we've got it all lined up, exactly the same, alternating left and right, fortunately, digging the second one's going to be a lot easier, or building the second one's going to be a lot easier because uh, we already know the pattern, so we just have to match the one that's already there. Now, we're, this is what I was referring to when I was digging a little extra access channel because I was like, well, yeah, here we go. Now, as you'll notice, I start digging the stairs next to it, and then I realize, oh no, I have to get rid of that. And the reason for this is because if the stairs are right next to the edge, the pumps will actually leak and we do not want this leaking because there's going to be a lot of water coming out of this and it will flood our entire fortress. What we do want, however, is we want one tile of space on either side connected to these, uh, to the, to the, uh, stairs so that we can fill it up with walls when we're done. Now we're filling this in with a wall just so that we can build this and we realize that there's a dumb murist in there. So we let him out. And then once he exits, we, we were going to place a door to just kind of let him take his time, but uh, eventually he just kind of walks out in about five, four, three, two, one. Ah, there he goes. See? What a guy. It's not Dwarf Fortress unless somebody gets stuck. Then we're going to fill that in with the last tile, and uh, then we can get ready to turn this thing on. And it's going to be kind of crazy, so... If you've never messed with pumps before, just realize probably the first time you do, you're going to drown somebody. So just make sure that you've... Um, tooled around a little bit with them. Uh, you can run them manually, so I would recommend one, running one manually. Up here at the top, it's going to output in that in the direction of that, towards the bottom of the screen. And then we're going to run down here and we are going to click our lever that we've connected to the mechanism down at the bottom using the link lever tool. And uh, it should start pumping. I'll be honest, this video was a little bit difficult for me because um, I don't know how to condense this down into like under eight minutes. And I feel like if I make them longer than eight minutes, it doesn't really fit in the quick tutorial kind of format. But that is how you connect a pump stack to a water wheel. If this format works for you and uh, this kind of sped up thing is uh, approachable, let me know down in the comments section. If I screwed up on this one and uh, made it too short, let me know as well. I, I apologize in that case. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.